Royal family. How is everyone doing? Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Yes, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And we're going to finally do one of our sweet dessert menu for the holidays. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. I want to thank my ride or die. You guys really rock. I just want you guys to keep this in mind. With groceries being so high, uh, you have to weigh uh, homemade versus store-bought. And I will just give you an example. I wanted to do a homemade graham cracker crust. A box of graham crackers costs $5.68 not including the butter, which is like five or six dollars for four sticks. And I can get an already made graham cracker crust for 368. So just, you know, weigh these things out, you know, so you can stay on budget. Is it something that you really want to do homemade? Or is it something that, you know, you can kind of substitute for store-bought? But anyway, we're going to do a pumpkin sweet potato no bake cheesecake i know i'm always trying to be special all right you guys let's get this train on the track let's get in the kitchen and let's get to cooking all right here are the ingredients that we will need to make this pumpkin sweet potato ice box cheesecakes okay here I was able to find a pumpkin pie spice nut pie crust, which I thought would be pretty cool. And this is a nine inch size, okay? Remember, graham cracker crust versus store-bought crust, all right? Here, I got a better bang for my buck. This is a 16 ounce, which was $3.96. If I would have bought two containers of the eight ounce of Cool Whip, it would have cost me close to $5. So I got the bigger one and I can do two pies out of this 16 ounce container. All right, here I have a half a cup of sweet potatoes that I baked, let cool and smashed, all right? Here is one tablespoon of sour cream. I think it always enhances uh, a cream cheese mixture. Here I have pure vanilla. I have pumpkin pie spice. I have eight ounces of room temperature Philadelphia cream cheese. Again, bigger bang for my buck. Instead of buying one box of brown, light brown sugar. I bought this 32 ounce. And we're only going to use a cup out of this. So you can use it for your sweet potatoes and other recipes. And here, I know a lot of people don't like it, but we're only going to use a pinch of cloves. It's something about it highlights the warmth of the sweet potatoes and the pumpkin and here I have a 15 ounce can of pumpkin, pure pumpkin. We're not going to use this whole can. Remember, you can freeze this, okay? We're going to use about three fourth cups and the sweet potato will make up the rest. All right, we're just gonna mix this all in a bowl and pour it into our pie crust but what i want you to do before we start mixing go ahead and put the pie crust in the refrigerator we do want it cold all right once i put everything in the bowl that's measured i'll come back and show you okay i've put all the ingredients in one bowl you see there and remember uh, the measurements and the ingredients will be in the description box below and all i'm going to do is mix it with this hand mixer and then I will fold in 
eight ounces of the Cool Whip. Maybe a little more, but whatever amount I put, I'll definitely have it in the description box. All right, I'm going to turn this on. I know you guys don't want to hear this, and I'll come back and show you. Wow, you guys, look at this feeling. See that beautiful color once I mix the sweet potatoes and the pumpkin. All right, now we're just going to fold in eight ounces of the Cool Whip. Now you can make fresh whipped cream if you want to. So I'm going to fold this in, then I'll come back and show you once I put it into the pie crust, okay? Remember, fold. When you fold, you do this. That's how you fold it in, okay? All right, be right back. All right, uh, the mixture has been put into the pie crust. If you can, let this sit overnight for about eight to 10 hours. If not, at least put it in your refrigerator for four hours. Once the pie is set, I will come back and we'll decorate it. All right, see you guys later. Okay, I left the uh, cheesecake sit in the refrigerator overnight and now we're just going to pipe it. Now, if you pipe it close to the edge, you cannot put the top back on it because it will smash your design. So pipe it when you're getting ready to serve it, all right? And this here is a 3D tip. I don't know if you guys can see that, but okay. Now let's just go in and try to get them close as possible. And we're just gonna pipe it, you know, kind of make it look pretty. All right, so let's just turn the pie around. And this pretty much does the design on its own, on its own. All right, I'm not gonna have you guys here for the whole piping, but when I come back, I will show you the finished product and presentation of the pumpkin sweet potato cheesecake. 